I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Abraham Lincoln, vampire hunter. And um, it, it kind of, in terms of the tone of it, um, I was pretty happy from that point on because it sounded great to me. In terms of a genre, um, a genre movie, I was aware of the book. Hadn't read it, but I'd seen the photo on the cover and that was enough for me. And my character's name is Adam. Um, and he's called Adam because he's the first vampire. And he's many thousands of years old and he's seen it all. And in terms of doing the grunt work, he's got his minions who, you know, he doesn't need to get his hands dirty so much anymore. And, and my take on it is that, you know, this is the story about a president. But I think it's a story about two. I'm, I'm a president of a different, of a different um, demographic, the vampire demographic. And uh, in terms of his vocal style, his rhetoric and the way, he, he reminds me of like Roosevelt or something. He's like, um, he's a politician. He's a man's man, and a lot of it, a lot of the way he deals with people is like the, the, cigar, the cigar room of the White House. So I really think of it, yes, he's ultimately on the side of the vampires, but if you were a vampire, you'd vote for him. From what I've seen of Timur's work, it's going to be extraordinary visually. And, you know, from the way we're working and from the script, it's also a really, really good story. It's not just Crash Bang Wallop, you know, that it could ideally be a really good marriage of the two, that there's a really good narrative, there's really good characters, there's a believable and, and genuinely creepy arc to it. And it's also gonna look amazing. Now the action sequences I know are very, very much, you know, something he's, he's gifted at doing. So it's one of the things that's exciting is to know that it's just gonna look incredible.